Hey, welcome to another video here today. Um, so, yesterday, got a legendary chest. I think I was more excited to actually get it. I didn't open it yet, obviously you can see there. I didn't open it yet, um, but I think I was more excited to actually get the chest than I will be to open it. I don't know why, because I think it's more of a surprise when you actually when you actually get it from a battle. So, I don't know how you guys feel, but that's how I feel. Anyway, coming at you today with another um, <laughs> a deck that's actually different than I normally play. It's a golem deck, which I never usually play um, these golem decks because I'm not that good at them. But this deck, uh, I played it, I've played it three times, and I won two out of three, and I'm going to show you a couple of those battles so you can kind of see how it's played, because it was pretty sweet the way it went down. So we're going to check this first one out. <laughs> um, it's actually a, a Royal Giant Furnace deck, which is hugely popular, and everybody's using it in these challenges. And so when it came out and started this one, you know, I was a little bit nervous because never had played the deck um, before, and maybe this was... Was this my first time playing? Anyway, either way, I went and copied it from somebody high up. So he went ahead and rushed that one side, and so I just went on the offensive with a creative little miner because I didn't have anything else really to combat him there. And so he's throwing a lot at me, so I put, I think, uh, yeah, I dropped a defensive poison to take care of the fire spirits because those actually do a ton, ton of damage on my tower if they go un unanswered. And so then I dropped the executioner down, took out the ice wizard and the royal giant and a few um fire spirits pretty well but i took a lot of damage right at the start on that tower and kind of sucked <laughs> so i'm thinking to myself i'm pretty sure this is the first time i played this deck so anyway i'm thinking to myself dude this deck's rough dude way rough so i'm like dude i'm just gonna drop the golem and see what happens he gives me the crying face of course because he's scared, he doesn't know, and so I think he's gonna keep. Yep, he's gonna keep going at that side there, which is probably what he should do. But I don't know what he's got to defend the golem. He doesn't have a whole ton because he has the royal giant. The ice wizard does pretty good, and then he launches his minions. And because I, I knew he had minions, I waited just a second and I launched my minions right after to take out his minions. But he took out my flipping everything <laughs> with his musketeer. And I dropped a poison, which I probably shouldn't have at that point, but I was still trying to get a fill for it, because I thought he was going to drop a few more things in there, but he didn't. Anyway, he did pretty well, and we got a little bit of damage on his tower, but not much. So, this next push that I'm setting up for is going to be a sweet diggity one. Watch this. So, basically, drop Golem down, wasted some elixir, like I always do. He drops his furnace, going in with Royal Giant, so I'm thinking to myself, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> He dropped his Royal Giant. Anyway, Executioner took out minions, Fire Spirits, and the Royal Giant. He's taking him, going to town. He lightnings, which I think was a waste. He kind of maybe should have waited. I think the Royal Giant probably would have taken that tower out. I'm not sure, but it wasted six elixir, so I pushed hard on the other side. Dropped poison to take care of the furnace. Kind of mull everything together. Took that musketeer out of the way. Basically, boom, took out that tower. Lickety split. We have so much crap there. He dropped a furnace right in the middle of all my stuff. I think it took it out in about 0 .02 seconds, which is why he threw the angry face at me. And then I'm just coming at him. Okay, so I'm still coming at him. Drops a lightning, I guess, defensive lightning. But it's kind of too little too late, so I drop a poison. My miner's going to town. Takes out his little minions. Then I'm going to go ahead, throw a log down. Down to nine, down to zero. Took it out with a poison spell. Okay, so that's three crown. Okay, not too shabby. I'm gonna go see if that was the first time I pay, played this deck because I can't remember anymore. No, so I played it one time, I lost one time with it, and then these two I won. So anyway, so this is the third time. This one's pretty sweet. <laughs> Watch it. Okay, so he's got a pretty low elixir. So this is kind of a cycle deck. Watch this thing. He's going in, coming in hot, coming in real fast. Drops his ice golem in the back, and I'm just chilling, chilling. Don't know what to do. So I throw my miner out there so he has to kind of answer it. The Miner is a good card if you if you have it as a cycle card because it will probably get some damage on the tower or it will force your opponent to kind of like, what? I gotta deal with that Miner and so that's what you, you do. So he throws Hog down and Ice Spear and Fireball and that log hit everything. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's thinking dropping those Fire Spirits. He saw the log before he dropped the Fire Spirits, but 
He dropped him anyway. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, but he still got he got more damage on the tower than than I got on his, and so he's gonna keep cycling through here. So I I think nope, not right there. It's coming up. You'll see. Don't worry. So he drops fire or an ice spirit to take out the minions, which did pretty well because it, I think it gets him down to one shotters. Nope, two shotters. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of a waste of an ice spirit then at that point. So he fireballs my flipping stuff which stunk because then he took out all that and then I kind of forgot the splash damage of the golem would take out those um, skeletons but it did it did pretty well and so it worked out and then little golemites are going to town on his tower watch that little fire spirit you see that he popped back there I thought he would die he didn't die so he just popped back there so minor executioner on the tower he has to deal with that because yeah knocked that tower down pretty good his knight somehow when he dropped it refocused my executioner on the knight so that worked out well for him kind of because then i didn't take out the tower but he really doesn't have anything i'm ahead in elixir so i go ahead and i drop another golem on that side i found with these b down decks three crowns are better than two <laughs> so anyway he drops that i have my inf you couldn't see right there but i have my tornado i'm like just waiting to pull it on the king tower because it's so fun to do so i had it ready to come that away and he threw a predictive fireball, which was kind of a waste because I haven't done anything that deserved a predictive fireball. So he wasted that. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm wasting elixir here. Coming in hot again. Take out that tower real quick with the miner and the little golemite. And because I have all that stuff there, I'm going to drop another golem. Might as well, right? So I got the executioner behind the golem, which is absolutely perfect. That way he drops anything. So And then I drop a mega minion. Takes care of his mega minion in like two seconds. He drops fire spirits, which is pretty good because it took out my mega minion. And then we're coming in real hot. <laughs> we got a miner coming in. We got a golem on the tower. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go put a poison spell down if I, as, if, as, as, as if I needed to. But it took out that tower. Lickety split. Super fun. <laughs> Three crowns. He didn't get any crowns. So not too bad so we're gonna go back into it you can see this challenge that i started <laughs> i started oh oh and two and then with that deck i got two wins in a row so we'll just keep going with that <laughs> i guess <laughs> see if that does anything for us all right so vegeta so basically strategy is hopefully they attack first but usually they don't so then if that's the case i go ahead and I'm going to drop Golem, since I don't know what I'm going to do with that giant. So I'm going to drop a Golem, so he has to start thinking, Crap, how am I going to combat that Golem? Because I think I can take out that giant with um, minions. Oh, crap. So, we're going to save Executioner and minions. Oh, nice. Well played on that, my friend. Well played. So hopefully, we can take Touche. We're going to pull him off the tower. <laughs> he took out our tower. That was really good. Nice job. So basically, instead of the Mega Minion, I probably should have dropped Poison. That way, it would have taken those minions out. But I kind of screwed up big there. Uh, it's not doing too bad, actually. So I think that Mega Minion with the Gold Mine is going to take out the tower all the way. So that worked out really well for us. The Musketeer looks like it took out the Mega Minion first, which is unfortunate. Um, so that kind of stinks. So now we gotta deal with this little musketeer real quick. I think we're just gonna log him back. Kinda waiting for him to drop something else, but he didn't, so that was good play, well played on his part. And then we are gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop Golem on this side again, and we're gonna rush this side, that way, we're just gonna go for three crowns. Might as well, right? We're live, we're doing this. So he's got um, Graveyard, which he's gonna put down in just a second. What does he have for my minions? I don't know what he has for my minions, so he's got, so we're going to drop little minions, and then we're going to drop all that. Get that come on bunched up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, crap. No, no, no. Don't take out my minions. And then we're going to have to take out his giant real quick. Oh, man. I'm so sad his minions stayed alive. That actually really hurt. That really hurt me. That <laughs> stinks. So we're going to have to... Mm, mm. We'll put a mega minion behind here. That way it'll kind of take care of the minions. And then we'll put a log here in a second I guess and then we'll drop minions of our own just to combat his minions and then we will no no dang it that thing is going to town on us okay so we're gonna have to drop golem again maybe I should have dropped golem on the other side I don't know because 
Yeah, I definitely should have dropped Golem on the other side. What was I thinking? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Executioner behind there. That should take that out. And then I'm going to put Mega Minion up here with probably Poison Spell. Take out his little minions. Ooh, nicely played. So let's bring that into the fight. That way it'll take a little bit of poison damage on there. Put minions down for the graveyard. Oh, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All you gotta do is stop that graveyard. Just stop that graveyard. And we got a golem on the tower, which I don't know if is enough because that giant is gonna take out. We're gonna have to tornado all that back. Come on, come on. We got miner and two golemites on the tower. Is that gonna take it out? Probably not. So what we gotta do, put another miner back there. And we'll put a poison spell on the tower. Come on. Maybe, nope, that was a waste of a poison spell. Yep. So here's what we gotta do. Oh, we're not doing so great. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. So we got to, we'll log all that back. And then, no, don't focus on the tower. <laughs> so close, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well played, good game, well played. Okay, so that third one was kind of a bust, but I think I could have done better had I went for, I should have went for the other tower. The second time, I think we would have gotten it. That was my bad, so gosh dang it. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to go ahead and open that legendary chest. So be sure and get in on that action. See what we get for a legendary. Thanks for dropping by the channel today. Got some sweet videos coming out in the next week. Super excited for it. You're not going to want to miss those, not one little bit. And be sure and subscribe if you haven't already, and good luck.